Hello. In this video, we will show you the procedure to disassemble and reassemble a Lorange injector using the 4010-921 toolkit made by Radat SBA. We start by locking the 4021-820 tool in the vise and inserting the Lorange injector in the bush. We remove the plastic cover. We unscrew the center screw using the 4021-077 insert and loosen the two lateral screws with the 4021-167 insert. Then we take off the black plastic part and unscrew the ring nut using the 4021-772 wrench. We place the injector in the station on the side in order to proceed with the disassembling of the nozzle nut using the wrench 4021-185. In case of excessive wear of the injector, this operation might be quite hard. In this case, we will proceed by heating the area with a specific industrial heat blower, such as the Radat 4021-786. We remove the nozzle and the other moving parts. We put the injector in the other station and we lock it using the threaded ring nut. We rotate the bracket so that we can proceed to disassembling the other components in the solenoid area. From the toolbox, we take the detachable part of the equipment and we secure it to the part already locked in the vise. Using the two levers, we tighten it in an axial position with the injector to disassemble. We tighten the M6 reducer in the corresponding thread of the solenoid assembly in the injector. We lower the extraction pin on the reducer, screwing the two parts together. At this point, it is possible to proceed with the extraction of the solenoid assembly using the 14 wrench. We also remove the other moving components. Now, we temporarily remove the detachable part by releasing the levers on the lower side. We rotate the bracket so that we can disassemble the solenoid part. After completing this operation, we mount the detachable part of the equipment again, tightening the levers, always taking care that the equipment is axially aligned with the injector. We remove the extraction pin we used before from the detachable part and place the other tool in its place. We proceed to the extraction of the plunger and the valve using the 36 wrench. We pay attention not to lose the spring and shim placed between the valve and the plunger. At this point, we remove the extraction tool and we proceed with the ring extractor. Acting on the 14 wrench, it is possible to remove the split ring. We temporarily remove the detachable part of the equipment so that we can correctly insert the bush extractor. Then we reinstall the detachable part and with the same procedure remove the bush. Finally, using the other extraction tool, we remove the plunger bush, which is planted in the injector body using, in this case, the 36 wrench. The injector is now completely disassembled. After cleaning the parts and replacing the worn ones, we reassemble the injector. We place it on the equipment, locking it with the threaded ring nut. With the insertion tool, it is possible to plant the bush, acting on the 36 wrench. We follow the same procedure for inserting the split ring. We manually assemble the group composed of plunger bush, plunger, spring, shim and valve and we insert it in the injector.
Now, we need to install the detachable part of the equipment, and we proceed by gradually planting the assembly in the injector, acting on the 36 wrench. We remove the detachable part again, loosening the bottom levers. We rotate the bracket. We remove the injector, unscrewing the threaded ring nut, and we place it in the other station. We proceed by assembling the rest of the components on the nozzle area. Finally, we tighten the nozzle nut using the 4021185 wrench. We place the injector in the other station and proceed by assembling the other parts in the solenoid area. We screw in the ring nut with the 4021772 wrench. We insert the black plastic part, tightening the central screw with the 4021077 insert and the two lateral screws with the 4021167 insert. Lastly, we replace the solenoid's plastic protection. The injector is now assembled again. All of our videos can be watched on the Radat SPA YouTube channel. For further information regarding the Radat tools and spare parts offer, please contact our offices or visit our website www.radat.com.